What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Vision Nation. So today's topic that we're going to be discussing is why you should always try to step out of your comfort zone. So this can be in any aspect of your life. It can be your business, personal, anything. So stepping out of your comfort zone, what's the benefits of that? So stepping out of your comfort zone, obviously, firstly, it's going to give you growth. It's going to give you change. So first of all, let's discuss why it's not good to be in your comfort zone so when you're in your comfort zone you know you're relaxed you're lazy you're more inclined to just chill out and really you don't make any progress when you're in your comfort zone you're just go into bad habits like for example being consumed by social media scrolling through your phone going through tiktok going through instagram and just spending hours and hours just looking at reels and tiktoks in your comfort zone because you know you're just happy to be consuming some content and getting that quick dopamine hit but in the long term is it really good for you no not really because you're on social media you should be a producer rather than a consumer because that's going to provide value to other people and also it's not going to cloud your mind that much so you know staying in comfort zone that's an example of it like if you stay in your comfort zone instead of being productive you're just going to procrastinate you know a lot of us you know growing up myself as well like in education you know like doing subjects that we didn't really like you know you'd procrastinate a lot and it'd be easy to just literally go and put your feet up and not do your revision not revise you know like you know a lot of us are guilty of that kind of thing so that's being in your comfort zone because you're doing the easy thing taking the easy way instead of going against and going with adversity and putting in the hours and working uh, revising for example like you're taking the easy option you're just chilling out laying down i don't know doing whatever and getting quick dopamine hits which is not going to benefit you and it's you know it's going to fry your dopamine receptors because you're going to be so used to these hits you're just going to keep getting addicted and you know it's, it's going to become habitual and there's a lot of things that you know that can be addictive that can give you quick dopamine hits um but we're not going to go into that we're going to talk about why you should step out of your comfort zone so stepping out of your comfort zone it could be anything so it could be just you trying to i don't know better yourself so i don't know you want to improve your discipline so let's say you join a boxing club you join a boxing club you start doing boxing you get a coach you get a personal trainer you start doing boxing and that is going to build discipline in you you may not be the best fighter you may not have never thrown a punch in your life but because you want to improve your discipline you want to improve your you know self-defense maybe you know increase that if you're going to a boxing club you get a coach you get a mentor and you know you do weekly sessions or whatever depends on what you're training for and slowly slowly you'll build up that discipline and that kind of boots is one like really big thing where you build up discipline and you know there's commitment required for it so that is like if you've never done this in a day in your life but you're starting this to do this now slowly over time you're going to gain experience you're going to gain confidence and competence towards that thing and it's also going to affect you in your different aspects of life as well personal life and also business because once you build that discipline you build that confidence you're going to be more confident in yourself how you are and also confident around other people and confident in your work confident in your business or example if you're really basic one is going to the gym you're doing that for your fitness to look better feel better and just have more confidence in general so that's stepping out of your comfort zone because you could do the easy thing and you can just lay down just eat chips all day and just lay and watch tv you know but because you're bettering yourself it might be the hard thing to do you know go to lift weights or you don't want to do it these are the things you have to do step out of your comfort zone and that's going to give you growth it's going to give you experience and it's going to benefit you long term and make sure you're able to tackle other aspects in your life so it's not limited to just going to the gym it can be you know doing things that you never really thought you'd do or wanted to do for me i've always been an introvert so it might not sound like it because i'm doing this podcast now on the channel so i've always been an introvert and one thing that i wanted to do was improve my network and i've spoken about this before my way of networking was actually to start a podcast like, i don't like talking to people as much i keep myself to myself mostly and i don't like creating conversation for the sake of creating conversation unless it's providing value to me i don't really like give a shit so this was my way of doing it and i was like you know what i've never really put myself in front of a camera i'm not really used to it let's just do it we'll wing it see how it goes and since the first podcast now like i I've increased my confidence not just helped me in the podcast it's helped me outside in my business and talking to people meeting new people and talking to customers and creating new business in my personal life with relationships and friends and stuff like that it's given me confidence and it's brought out a side of me that i didn't really know that i had but i had it and i got it because of being uncomfortable and growing in these situations and stepping outside of my comfort zone i could have just easily just forget it i'm not going to create a podcast and now i would have been in the same place i was a year ago but now because i've done this and i've grown you know you realize when you do these things when you look back you see how all the dots connect and how it's all aligned and all these things that you've grown and you've gone through so much and it's little baby steps you've taken towards where you've got to now but when you look back it's like climbing a mountain like you've climbed this mountain you look back and like wow look how much i've done and all because i stepped out of my comfort zone recently climbed ben Nevis and it was 
really stepping out of my comfort zone. Like I've never done a proper like hike before, but maybe it was when I was a kid. And I've gone up this mountain and I've mentioned before as well, like I had a really heavy bag and I had lots of things in it. I was wearing a lot of clothes and layers and it was kind of hot, probably like 15 degrees. So it wasn't cold and I expected it to be really cold. So I was wearing like a thermal layer on the top and on the bottom. And then I had more clothes on top of it and I had clothes in my bag too. And I thought it was going to be hard, but I didn't think it was going to be that hard. Like I've started now with the group and I'm going up these steps, right? If you've done Ben Levis, you know what I'm talking about. And these steps are like, it killed me off. Like I'm 15 minutes till about 45 minutes like dying like honestly i was sweating first of all because the heat was killing me i know it sound like excuses but like that's what it was heat was killing me because i was getting warmed up and the sweat was going on my thermals and it's just not a nice feeling and my back was really weighing down my shoulders it's like a trap workout and i'm thinking going up this mountain i'm thinking what have i got myself into like i should have just stayed at home and i'm thinking like you'll have those thoughts like naturally when you step out of your comfort zone you're gonna have these thoughts that's gonna try to pull you back towards your comfort zone again but you have to fight this battle and you have to keep going and i was like you know what I'm I'm gonna keep going and obviously we were doing it for the charity and i thought back you know like this is nothing compared to what they're going through like so that was like my determination and motivation to get me through and then there was a point literally i remember this and it's always going to be in my memory like i'm walking up the mountain and i'm looking up at the mountain and i don't know if it was the peak i think it was just one of the points of the mountain and i'm just looking up and the mountain is just massive and i'm like look how big this mountain i'm just thinking about you know what this mountain i'm gonna take you down today and i looked at it and i said that in my head and i was like that's it i'm gonna do it and then like after about an hour like it got really not easy but like it was much more easy and because i got through that i could have stopped if i wanted to but i didn't and i got through that and then the rest of it was pretty simple to be fair like it was all right and it was more of what i've been training for and stuff so yeah that's just another example like now it's like yeah i want to do more hikes and i want to climb more mountains and do these kind of things because i've never thought i would do that it's doing these things for me it's like when i see something that i'm not good at or i want to get better at it that teaches you so many different things in life like even in business you can go into a new business like if you're running a business and you want to try something else or a different aspect of it like just act and make decision and just go into it and you can have coaches and mentors and stuff to help you but just go do it that's the main thing you know you have to cut down the decision time i think alex Hamosi mentions in a recent reel that i watched he says a normal person takes a week to make a decision but if you make that decision on the same day or the day after whatever you make that decision your next decision is going to come even sooner so you can make five decisions in one day and that will put you in an advantage and rather than someone who takes a week to make a decision they've made that same five decisions over a month and a bit but you've made the same decisions in a day and your growth can be so much more if you actually just act quick on what you want to do and not worry about what he thinks or she thinks or am i going to get this wrong or going to fail because failure is growth so you know so yeah that's the summary of it like you know failures growth and you know stepping out of your comfort zone is really important if you want to get somewhere in life you have to do that there's no two ways about it you've got to work hard you've got to face the adversity and you've got to be happy to face that like you've got to you know go into it literally just go into it and that's all i can leave you guys with but yeah if you enjoyed this episode let me know in the comments below or if you're watching this on real let me know drop me a message on what kind of content you want to see give me an instagram dm a link to my instagram will be in my description so drop me a message there what you want to see what you want me to talk about or what kind of guests you want to see on topics you want to see on the podcast itself but yeah thank you guys for listening if there's anything that you always want to say leave it in the comments below so i want to hear from you guys so if you have any times where you stepped out of your comfort zone and you overcame it please leave it in the comments below and tell us about what you overcame and how exactly it helped you as well because obviously there's always going to be benefits but i'd love to hear from you guys so leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn the bell icon on if you haven't so you make sure you never miss an episode so thank you guys for watching vision out